to ensure and guarantee the safety of the CAR CARICOM team. The people are virtually afraid of contracting the virus. Chair of the Elections Commission, Justice Claudette Singh, speaking with the media. Health officials, along with election staff, had earlier today toured the recount venue, the Arthur Chung Conference Center, to determine its safety and security for the activity. As soon as measures are put in place to guarantee the safety of the CARICOM delegation, this information will be communicated to the Secretary General. However, the GCOM chair was unable to provide an expected date of commencement of the recount activity, but she assured the public that the Commission is doing all it can to ensure the 2020 electoral process is completed in a timely and credible manner. I don't have a timeline. As I told you, we have to report back these things to CARICOM and things have to be put in place. But not long from now. It may be in a matter, you know, that man works very quickly and perhaps maybe hours, maybe days. I'm doing everything possible. I am the person who spoke about the recount. I'm the person who made that commitment and I'm going to see it through. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank you. shortly too. I like them. I want to see it over. According to Commissioner Vincent Alexander, the commencement of the recount has to coincide with the arrival of the CARICOM team. Initially, the COVID-19 task force headed by Moses Nagamutu had announced that foreign observers would have to be quarantined for 14 days upon arrival in Guyana. However, this has since been adjusted. The question of quarantining the CARICOM people, I am advised that that will no longer be necessary. What they will do, they'll be tested before they leave the home country. Moreover, the task force had stipulated that the recount will have to abide by curfew hours, which would have seen the activity concluding at 17 hours so staff can make it home by 18 hours. But this too was amended. That is what was reported to us from 8 to 6. So we can now work for 10 hours. Currently, GCOM is still deliberating on the number of workstations to be established and how many persons will be based at each station, keeping in mind COVID-19 concerns. The Evening News understands that health officials will tomorrow inform GCOM of its assessment and recommendations on these matters. Reporting for the Evening News, Davina Samaru.